Now, you can listen to Wine and Dine Radio while shopping at the grocery store or your neighborhood wine merchant. Wine and Dine Radio can be heard using your wireless internet on your cell phone. You're listening to iWine Radio. iWine Radio is a production of Food Tastes Better with Wine on the web at iwineradio.com. Hey guys, I thank you for listening to iWine Radio and we are still the only wine channel on iTunes Radio. If you go look under iTunes Radio icon and scroll down to News and Talk Directory and it's listed alphabetically, click on that and the stream comes up immediately. iWineRadio.com where you can find links to individual guests. And if anyone's interested in advertising or becoming an underwriter or sponsor, please contact us at iWineRadio.com. We really, really appreciate your support. The more support we get, the more conversations I can have with fascinating people around the world, including you. If you have a story to tell that you'd like to share on iWine Radio, go to iWineRadio.com and contact us, and we'll go from there. Hi, I'm Lorianne Green, Sommelier Conseil, and president of Verizon Sommelier Consultants. We're working with the French Wine Society on immersion study trips in France, in Bordeaux, Rhone, Languedoc, and Burgundy. And for more information, please see www.frenchwinesociety.org. And we look forward to having you on one of our study trips. We've had a conversation in the past with Julien Camus, the president of French Wine Society. Well, recently they announced their tours for 2013, and the first three tours of the year are already sold out. So I really want to get this information out to you about some wine immersion study trips that are master level study programs through the French Wine Society. And joining us today on Wine and Dine, we're meeting for the first time Lorian Green, who is sommelier concier and a and the president of Verizon Sommelier Consultants, which is the uh, the company that French Wine Society is working with to organize all the details of the trip. And Lorian, thank you so very much for joining us today on Wine and Dine. So it's a pleasure to be with you. So there is a trip in May in Bordeaux that sold out, um, and the end of May in Rhone Valley that sold out, in Bourgogne in June that sold out. So let's focus right. on the four trips that are on the books right now that are available and open to people. Okay, we still have, uh, for the spring, we have languedoc Roussillon from June 2nd to the 7th of this year. Uh, that's going to be a terrific trip led by Matthew Stubbs, Master of Wine, who is who lives in the region and is, of course, a specialist in the region and is the instructor for the Languedoc-Roussillon Master Level Program through the French Wine Society. So uh, he's going to be the instructor and leader of that trip. Then we have uh, another trip to Bordeaux, that's September 1st through the 7th of this year, and that's going to be um, led by Dewey Markham, Jr., who is the author of the great book, the definitive book on the 1855 Bordeaux classification called 1855, and who is the principal instructor for the French Wine Society Bordeaux uh, Master Level Program. Then we have the Rhone Valley, where we do both the northern and southern Rhone Valley, uh, and that is October 13th through 19th of this year, led by uh, Kelly McAuliffe, who is a superstar sommelier. He was sommelier for Alain Ducasse at a number of restaurants, including Las Vegas, uh, sommelier for uh, Christian Etienne, a one-star restaurant in Avignon, uh, sort of a flying sommelier who's very well-known internationally and goes all over the place and is one of the instructors for the French Wine Society's uh, Rhone uh, Master Level Program. Okay. So he's going to be uh, doing that. And then finally we have Burgundy, 
It's October 20th to 26th of this year, and it's led by uh, Jean-Pierre Renaud, who is an internationally acclaimed uh, expert on uh, Burgundy wines, a resident of uh, of Burgundy, and uh, also a very exciting uh, trip covering all of the major regions of Burgundy. Wow. Just out of curiosity, is there a possibility that there would be other regions or other dates that might crop up for 2013? I don't think we're going to be doing other dates in 2013. This, we already have seven programs scheduled, and it's our first year, so it's it's quite okay. uh, quite a lot okay. already. However, uh, 2014 uh, will be announced this summer. We will be having trips in 2014, and uh, I believe that we will uh, be starting uh, another region, and that is Champagne oh, in 2014, if all goes well. And okay. we're going to try to schedule Champagne. Uh, right before or after the Burgundy trip, uh, since, of course, the, the grape varieties used are, uh, are the same, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay. Uh, so, you know, there's a, a very strong correlation between the, uh, the two regions, and uh, that way people can do the Champagne trip and the Burgundy trip uh, together, which I think would be a very interesting way to do it. So what kind of people are, uh, is the French Wine Society and uh, Raisin Sommé Consultants catering to? What kind of audience do you, are you expecting for these trips? Well, judging from what we have so far, it's a combination of wine professionals of all types, sommeliers, wine educators, wine journalists, uh, uh, wine retailers, distributors. Uh, we have a master of wine candidate, uh, so all kinds of professionals, and uh, very interested amateurs. And in fact, it's, it's the same uh, target market as uh, the people who are interested in and take the French Wine Society programs because, of course, it isn't just a trip that we're selling. Uh, included in uh, what you pay for is the uh, French Wine Society master level program for the region that's going to be visited. So people take the, the, the program leading up to the trip, and then they take the trip and they get that that invaluable uh, hands-on, first-hand experience in the wine region, and then they go home and they take the uh, French Wine Society exam, and that way they can get their certification afterward. And the exam is online? Yes, yes, it's it's all done online. And, and the, the course can be done uh, online or can be done at one of the locations that uh, work with the French Wine Society programs, and there are quite a number of them throughout the country and in other countries. So the, the the trip includes, of course, all the tastings, um, full comfort hotels, gourmet meals, uh, tours, mm-hmm. and transportation. That's right, uh, and of course you have uh, you have the the program itself, and then you have uh, guidance throughout by this uh, instructor who is also the the guide. Uh, so to speak, because usually uh, I, we, we tend to consider that they're an instructor. Uh, they do lead the trip, but uh, they're there to, to provide all kinds of uh, very detailed uh, information and to answer all of the questions that people will have. Is there any... So it's, it's actually, I'm sorry, it's, it's actually a very inclusive trip. There's, there's yeah. a couple of meals that, uh, that you have on your own because it's nice to have a couple of meals where you get to choose the restaurant. Um, but other than that, it's, it's really quite inclusive. Lorianne, is there any way that, is, do you already have lined up what wineries you're, or vineyards you're going to be going to so that, just, this just occurred to me, so that people could kind of almost be doing some study or research before they even leave? Well, before they leave, we will have every uh, chateau in place. At uh, this time, uh, we have most of them for Bordeaux, uh, Rhone, and Burgundy. Uh, we are still lining up some, uh, okay. which okay. is normal because uh, because of the way things work in France. Um, people don't tend to accept uh, reservations for uh, winery visits a very long time in advance because okay. usually we're meeting with the winemaker and they don't know their schedule that far right. in advance. Right. Um, 
but uh, but we that's one of the reasons we work with um, the instructors who are in the region because they know everybody. They have uh, fantastic contacts, and uh, and they're able to to get us uh, really wonderful, very high level. Um, uh, tastings and yeah. uh, visits at these different estates. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. So the the price of the, depending upon what trip you're going on is is about from 3500 to 4000, just under 4000 per person, double That's occupancy. Right. And it's limited to 18 guests, which means it's going to be an, a really nice intimate group. Yes, exactly. We the idea was to make it affordably priced and to uh, because of course you know there are trips out there for a week with uh, similar accommodations, similar meals, etc., and uh, that are twice as expensive. So we wanted to keep the prices mm-hmm. low to make it available because the French Wine Society is a nonprofit organization, and the idea is the education is the most important thing. Uh, so we wanted to be accessible and um, uh, the. The um, the limit on the number of people is to keep it intimate. Make sure that everybody gets a personal attention from the instructor, and also because we go to really the top estates, and the top estates don't want forty people right. uh, coming yeah. coming in their door. They they want a small group, and um, that's a, a good size for uh, for the kinds of estates that we're going to be visiting. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, Lorian, besides this uh, this uh, partnership that you have with French Wine Society, you also organize wine trips for people uh, separate from French Wine Society, right? Yes, we do. Uh, French Wine Society is our main focus at this time, but okay. yes, we also uh, do other kinds of, we, we do wine trips for uh, for other groups. Um, we do it on a more of a consulting basis at this point because we've been doing this a very long time and uh, we're, uh, we're well known and so people come to us uh, rather than the other way around, and uh, but uh, we have a, a busy schedule. Besides that, uh, my husband and I, oh, my husband's also a sommelier and my partner, uh, we also do uh, a number of different uh, activities as sommeliers ourselves, so uh, wine oh. tastings, wine tastings dinners, uh, uh, we work with uh, restaurants and uh, a number of other, of other uh, activities in the wine business. Out of curiosity, if someone wanted to visit uh, uh, Armagnac in particular, is that something that you could even, or, you know, if they have a local, so when you're saying consulting, you mean that people have their local travel agent connect with you to help set up a trip? Is that what you mean? Um, not usually travel agents. Usually people will contact us or groups will contact us directly. Okay. Okay. But uh, if they want, yes, if they want a, a private trip or a, uh, if they're, you know, if they're interested in going to the regions that the French Wine Society covers, then we definitely suggest to them to, to do it through the French Wine Society because yeah. we, we really believe in what they're doing. And, uh, but, but otherwise, uh, yeah, we, um, uh, we can do that on our own as well. Of course, by doing it through the French Wine Society, people are going to become certified at that region. Right. So it's a, a different experience and, yeah. and really a, a, a fabulous experience that is not to be missed. Lorianne Green, sommelier conseil and president of Verizon Sommelier Consultants in working with French Wine Society for Immersion Trips to France 2013. Thank you so much for joining us today on Wine and Dine. Thank you. We will have links up for you to learn more. Now you can listen to Wine and Dine Radio while shopping at the grocery store or your neighborhood wine merchant. Wine and Dine Radio can be heard using your wireless internet on your cell phone. You're listening to iWine Radio. iWine Radio is a production of Food Tastes Better with Wine on the web at iwineradio.com. Hey guys, I thank you for listening to iWine Radio and we are still the only wine channel on iTunes Radio. If you go look under iTunes Radio icon and scroll down to News and Talk Directory and it's listed alphabetically, click on that and the stream comes up immediately. iWineRadio.com where you can find links to individual guests. 
And if anyone's interested in advertising or becoming an underwriter or sponsor, please contact us at iwineradio.com. We really, really appreciate your support. The more support we get, the more conversations I can have with fascinating people around the world, including you. If you have a story to tell that you'd like to share on iWine Radio, go to iWineRadio.com and contact us, and we'll go from there. 